First in the spotlight tonight is Sarah Mead, a sales coordinator from Swindon. She's answering questions on the novels of Dick Francis. Next, Frank Wood, a retired engineer from London on British railway disasters. Ewan Thomas is a freelance science editor from Nottinghamshire. His specialist subject, the American musician Graham Parsons. And Gareth Williams, a retired solicitor from Powers, and his subject, Welsh international rugby. Hello and welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Four contenders are about to test themselves on television's toughest quiz. They will each have two minutes of questions on their specialist subject and then two and a half minutes on general knowledge. And the winner, of course, will go through to the next round and will be on course to become the next Mastermind champion. So let's have our first contender, please. And your name is? Sarah Mead. Your occupation? Sales coordinator. And your chosen subject? The novels of Dick Francis, 1962 to 1980. The novels of Dick Francis in two minutes. Here we go. One of Dick Francis' best-known characters is a private investigator who narrates both odds against and whip hand. What's his name? Sid Halley. Yep. Which Francis novel begins with the line, The Earl of October drove into my life in a pale blue Holden, which had seen better days and danger and death tagged along for the ride. For kicks. Yes, in Bloodsport, the missing horse Alex is insured with an insurance company that's also the employer of the doomed investigator Walt Prenzella. What is the name of the company? Pass. In Sleigh Ride, to which country does the jockey club investigator David Cleveland travel to probe the disappearance of a British jockey? Norway. Yes. What is the name of the television horse racing programme presented by the charismatic Morris Kemp Law in NURB? Turf Talk. Yes. In the novel Inquiry, the jockey Kelly Hughes is wrongly accused of deliberately losing a race at Oxford. Which race? Um, the Le Lemon Fizz Challenge Cup. Yes. Which 1972 novel is set among the racetracks, gold mines and game reserves of South Africa? Smokescreen. Yes. What's the name of the British jockey for whom Alessandro Rivera is mistaken in a bungled murder attempt in bone crack? Tommy Hoylake. Yep. In For Kicks, what device is used secretly at racetracks by the trainer Humber and the owner Adams to trigger panic reactions in their preconditioned horses? A dog whistle. Yes. The final line of high stakes states that it is no good expecting what in racing? Pass. In Forfeit, which sensationalist newspaper does the journalist James Tyrone work for? Its number one policy is blow the roof off. Sunday Blaze. Yes, what's the name of the horse in Knockdown that died of tetanus en route to Japan and, according to the crooked bloodstock agent Findale, was switched with polyprint? Pass. In Risk, Roland Britton visits the Vivat Club to find out more about his abduction and confronts Ownslow, Glitberg and which other villain there? Connaught Powys. Yes, in Flying Finish, Lord Henry Grey leaves his dull job at a bloodstock agency in order to work in horse transportation. What's the agency called? Yardman Transport. No, the Anglia Bloodstock Agency. In Bone Crack, what is the name of the inn where Alessandro Rivera stays while he's working as a jockey at Neil Griffin's yard? The Forbury Inn. Forbury Inn is correct, yep. You had um, three passes... Nest Egg was the name of the horse in Knockdown. It died of tetanus. The final line of High Stakes says it's no good expecting fairy tale endings. And in Bloodsport, the missing horse, Alex, is insured with buttress life. You have, Sarah, 11 points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Frank Wood. Your occupation? Retired engineer. And your chosen subject? British Railway Disasters, 1830 to 1939. British Railway Disasters in two minutes. At the opening of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway in September 1830, the former Cabinet Minister, William Huskisson, was run down and killed by a train. What was the locomotive called? 
Rocket. Yep. Who designed the Tay Bridge that collapsed in December 1879 as a train was passing over it? Sir Thomas Booch. Yes, the Southern Railway tank engines that were withdrawn after a derailment near Seven Oaks in August 1927 were each named after particular examples of which English geographical features? Rivers. Yes, where was the signal box at which poor working practices led to Britain's worst railway disaster in May 1915 when three passenger trains collided? 226 people died. Quintins Hill. Yes, what was the name of the engineer who developed the electric tablet system for single line working? Tyre. Yep. In 1928 at Charfield, a train passed a danger signal, ran into a goods train, and then fell over into the oncoming path of another train. Which company did it belong to? The Great Western. No, London, Midland, and Scottish. A famous author was a passenger on a train that came off the rails on a bridge at Staplehurst in Kent in June 1865. Which author? Charles Dickens. Yes. In 1937, snow was a major contributory factor when an Edinburgh to Glasgow Express ran into the back of a stationary train. At what small station did the accident happen? It killed 35 people. Castle Caird. Yes. What do the initials ATC stand for in the name of the safety system pioneered by the Great Western Railway in 1906? Automatic train control. Correct. What was the name of the former army officer who conducted the inquiries into a number of rail crashes, including those at Hawes Junction in 1910 and at Charfield in 1928? Colonel Von Donoff. No, Colonel Sir John Pringle. At which Glasgow terminus in 1903 did a train from Ardrossan collide with the buffers with fatal results after the driver misjudged his speed of approach? St. Enoch. Yes. What specific name was given to the warning device fitted to locomotives on the Leicester and Swannington Railway after a collision with a cart on a level crossing in May 1833? A steam trumpet. Yes. In September 1913, two southbound express trains on the Settle to Carlisle line collided after the first one stopped when the locomotive ran out of steam near a summit. Which summit? A skill. Is correct. No passes. Frank, you also have 11 points. <laughs> And our next contender, please. And your name is? Ewan Thomas. Your occupation? Freelance science editor. And your chosen subject? The life and music of Graham Parsons. The life and music of Graham Parsons in two minutes, starting now. Graham Parsons was one of the founders of country rock, which he called Cosmic American Music. He left the rock group The Birds after one album to form a new band. What was it called? Flying Burrito Brothers. Yes, according to Parsons, whose autograph did he obtain when just a child at Waycross, Georgia, by going up to the rising star and saying, I'm a kid who buys your records and I think you're all right? Elvis Presley. Yes. After dropping out of Harvard, Parsons formed a band he called The Like, which included Ian Dunlop, John News and Mickey Govin. What did they rename themselves after moving to New York? The International Submarine Band. Yes. Who left the birds to join Parsons in forming the Flying Burrito Brothers? They were later joined by fellow ex-bird Michael Clark. Chris Hillman. Yep. The Rolling Stones invited the Flying Burrito Brothers to perform at a notorious free festival in December 1969, at which an audience member was killed. Which festival? Altamont. Yep. What was the title of the International Submarine Band's second single? It was their first release following their record deal with Columbia. Summit Row. Yep. What is the name of the motel where Parsons was staying with Margaret Fisher when he had a fatal drug overdose? Joshua Tree. Yep. Parsons' body was stolen from Los Angeles Airport to prevent a planned family burial in Louisiana. According to Parsons' close friend and manager, Phil Kaufman, who helped him to steal the body? Michael Martin. Yes. Parsons' vocals were erased from many tracks on the original Birds album, Sweetheart of the Rodeo, but were kept on one song, co-written with Bob Buchanan. Which song? Hickory Wind. Yep. What instrumental did the International Submarine Band record as a promotional single for the Norman Jewison film of the same title? It was released on the Ascot label in 1966. The Russians are coming, the Russians are coming. Yes. What was the name of the aspiring actress whom Parsons married in New Orleans in 1971? Gretchen Burrell. Yes. When Parsons formed a folk trio with Dick McNear and Patty Johnson in the style of Peter, Paul and Mary, they adopted a Manhattan jazz club's name. What was it? Village Vanguard. Yes. Parsons was present at the recording of a Rolling Stones album in France in 1971. Which one? Exile on Main Street. Correct. What was the name? I started, so I'll finish. What was the name of the backing group that Parsons formed a short tour with in 1973? Its members included Emmy Lou Harris. Fallen Angels. The Fallen Angels is correct. You have no passes. You had a perfect round. You got them all right. 14 points. <laughs> Thank you.
And our final contender, please. And your name is? Gareth Williams. Your occupation? Retired solicitor. And your chosen subject? Welsh International Rugby Union, 1960 to 1980. In two minutes, starting now, which legendary fly half retired in 1972, age 27, after scoring 90 points for Wales? He was known as the King. Barry John. Yes, when Wales beat France in 1978 to win their eighth Grand Slam, two Welsh players scored dropped goals. Steve Fennick was one. Who was the other? Um... Phil Bennett. Gareth Edwards. Oh. Which former international was appointed Wales' first national coach in 1967 but left the post the following year? David Nash. Yes, which wing forward kicked a left-footed conversion in the closing minutes of the match at Murrayfield in 71 and Wales won by one point. They would go on to win the Grand Slam. John Taylor. Yes, who won his first cap and became the first Welsh player to appear as a replacement in an international when he came on for Gerald Davis in the final minutes of a match against France in March 69? Phil Bennett. Yes, Wales had three captains during the 68 Five Nations Championship. John Dawes and Gareth Edwards were two. Which Llanelli hooker was the other? Norman Gale. Yes, JPR Williams scored six tries playing as fullback for Wales. Against which country did he score five of them? England. Yes. In which city did Wales lose 24-3 to South Africa during their first overseas tour in 64? Durban. Yes, by what name is Ray Hopkins of Maestegar FC better known? He scored a vital try in his one match for Wales. Chica. Yep. During the match against Ireland for the Triple Crown in March 65, the back row forward had to play at full back for around 20 minutes because of an injury to John Dawes. What was his name? Alan Pask. Yes, which club contributed the entire Welsh front row with Charlie Faulkner, Bobby Windsor and Graham Price, who first played together for Wales against France in 75? Pontypool. Yep. In the Welsh Rugby Union centenary match against New Zealand in November 1980, two Wales players made their debut. One was Gareth Williams. Who was the other? Um... Gerald Williams. Robert Ackerman. Which future team coach captained Wales in his international debut in January 63 and was known as Top Cat? Clive Rowlands. Yes. For which club did Brian Cresswell, Glyn Davidge and Jeff Whitson all play when they were selected together in the back row against Scotland and Ireland in 1960? Newport. Is correct. No passes, Gareth. You have 12 points. What a good round. Let's have a look at all the scores. In joint third place, 11 points apiece, Sarah Mead and Frank Wood. Second place, 12 points, Gareth Williams. First place, 14 points, Ewan Thomas. <laughs> so it's the general knowledge round now, and if there is a tie at the end of it, then the number of passes is taken into account, and the person with the fewer passes is the winner. So, let's get on with it and uh, ask Sarah to join us again, please. And uh, you start out with 11 points with your knowledge of Dick Francis' book. Two and a half minutes in this round, so plenty of time to catch up and overtake. Here we go. The Hindu god of beginnings, Ganesha, has the head of which animal? Elephant. Yep. Which country completely surrounds the kingdom of Lesotho? South Africa. Yes. What flavouring, often used in sweet sauces and puddings, shares its name with a brittle form of toffee thought to originate in Doncaster, where it was made by Samuel Parkinson in 1817? Licorice. Butterscotch. What did the former American Secretary of State, Henry Kissinger, say is the great aphrodisiac in a January 1971 edition of the New York Times? Politics. Power. What name did Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger adopt when he was elected Pope in April 2005? Benedict. Yes, Benedict XVI. In which country is the city of Isfahan? It was once one of the world's largest cities and is a former capital of the country. Pakistan. Iran. What name was given to the ancient Roman imperial dynasty comprising Vespasian and his two sons, Titus and Domitian? Pass. Which gas comprises about 78% by volume of the Earth's atmosphere? Hydrogen. Nitrogen. Which former footballer known as Der Kaiser captained West Germany to their World Cup victory in 1974 and repeated the feat as their manager in 1990? Pass. 
What is the name of the ancient steamboat that Humphrey Bogart and Catherine Hepburn take downriver to attack a German gunboat in a 1951 film of the same name? The African Queen. Yes, which Liverpool-born musician was principal conductor, then music director, of the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra from 1980 to 98, before taking up a similar post with the Berlin Philharmonica in 2002? Simon Rattle. Yes, which former Labour Home Secretary tells the story of his difficult childhood in his 2013 autobiography, This Boy? Pass. Catriona by Robert Louis Stevenson, published in 1893, is a sequel to the novel he wrote seven years earlier. What was that novel called? Robinson Crusoe. Kidnapped. What is the common name for the flightless birds of the genus Apteryx? Penguin. Kiwis. A former child star served as an American representative to the United Nations in 1969 and as the American ambassador to Ghana in the 70s and Czechoslovakia in the 80s. Who was she? Shirley Temple. Yes. The square root of what number is conventionally indicated by the lowercase letter I or J in the mathematical theory of complex numbers? Pass. In 1933, Ivan Dunin became the first writer born in which country to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? Germany. Russia. Adam Levine is the lead singer in a Los Angeles band that topped the UK singles charts in 2012 with Payphone, featuring the rapper Wiz Khalifa. What's the band called? Maroon 5. Maroon 5 is correct. You had uh, four passes, minus one. Of course. Was, of course, you knew that all the time, didn't you? <laughs> the uh, former Labour Home Secretary who wrote that autobiography was uh, Alan Johnson. Franz Beckenbauer was Der Kaiser, and it was the Flavian dynasty. That was the name given to that ancient Roman imperial dynasty. Sarah, you have 18 points. <laughs> and now, Frank, again, please. And, uh, Frank, you start with uh, 11 points as well, with your knowledge of British railway disasters. And as we speak, the score to beat is 18. So you get two and a half minutes of general knowledge. Here we go. By what common name is the bush Ilex aquifolium better known? It's used extensively in Christmas decorations. Holly. Yep. Which British boy band had eight chart-topping singles between 1993 and 96, starting with Prey and ending with How Deep Is Your Love? Pass. In the 2013 film Saving Mr Banks, Emma Thompson plays the Mary Poppins author P.L. Travers. Which entertainment magnet is played by Tom Hanks? Pass. Which Danish-born princess was the queen consort of Edward VII? Alexandra. Yes. I'm rather worried about Jim. It was a classic line from a weekday radio serial broadcast on the light programme at later Radio 2 from 1948 to 69. What was it called? Mrs Dale's Diary. Yes. In Islamic architecture, what name for the tower of a mosque from where the faithful are called to prayer comes from the Arabic for beacon or lighthouse? Minaret. Yes. Of which country was Olaf Palma, the Prime Minister, until he was murdered by an unknown gunman in February 1986? Pass. Which breed of dog that originates in southern Africa takes its name from the raised line of hair along its back? It's also known as the African lion dog. Ridgeback. Yep. Samuel Johnson considered claret the liquor for boys and port for men. What did he say must be drunk by he who aspires to be a hero? Brandy. Yes, the name of which Native American people became used as a word for violent Parisian hooligans at the turn of the 20th century? Apaches. Yes. Which sea battle shares its name with the most southerly of all the shipping forecast areas covering the southwest coast of the Iberian Peninsula? Trafalgar. Yes. What name is given to the busy junction of the A1 with the Trans Pennine A66 near Richmond in North Yorkshire, in spite of the fact that it's many miles from the Scottish border? Scotch Corner. Yep. Which 1945 work set in a Suffolk fishing village was Benjamin Britten's first full opera? Peter Grimes. Correct. What nickname was shared by the jazz pianist and composer Thomas Wright Wallop and the rhythm and blues singer Antoine Domino? Fats. Yes. Which biblical king wrote the Song of Songs according to its opening verse? Pass. What is the title of Henri Charrier's autobiography first published in 1969? It's based on his experiences as a prisoner and his escape from Devil's Island. Pass. Which animal did the naturalist and broadcaster Chris Packham suggest should be allowed to die out because it has gone down an evolutionary cul-de-sac? Man. 
<laughs> the panda. <laughs> what is the most southernmost country of Central America? Chile. It's Panama, actually. It goes all the way down oh, to the... You know. Central. Yeah, and there we go. Um, five passes, uh, Frank. Uh, Papillon was the title of uh, Henri Charrier's autobiography. King Solomon wrote the Song of Songs. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Olaf Palmer had been the Prime Minister of Sweden. Walt Disney was the entertainment magnate, as played by Tom Hanks. And that British boy band, I'm amazed you didn't know that one, <laughs> was, uh, was Take That. But you scored, Frank, 22 points. And now Gareth again, please. Right, Gareth, uh, you start out with 12 points. The score to beat now is 22, and you get two and a half minutes in which to do it, or try to do it. Here we go. What score is referred to as a double top in the game of darts? A uh, double 20. Yes. Rollers, tipplers and tumblers are all types of which bird? Um, seabird. Pigeon. In computing hardware, what does the abbreviation CPU stand for? Um, pass. The remains of a saint were moved from their original burial place to a shrine in the old minster at Winchester in 971. The period of bad weather that ensued is said to indicate his displeasure at the move. Who was the saint? Swithin. Yep. Which Alfred Hitchcock film is set in the small fishing village of Bodega Bay in California? The Birds. Yes. Who was the British Prime Minister at the time of the Profumo scandal? Macmillan. Yes. Which Hampshire town is largely owned by the Ministry of Defence since the establishment of the first military camp there in 1854? It has become known as the home of the British Army. Um, all the shot. Yes. Who was Jerry Lieber's partner in the songwriting team that wrote Elvis Presley's hits Hound Dog and Jailhouse Rock? Stoller. Yes. Which Asian country was reunified in 1976 after more than 20 years of conflict? Vietnam. Yep. About which world heavyweight champion did the New Jersey barroom brawler two-ton Tony Galento famously say in 1939, I never hoided a bum? Um, Pass. A book of Mediterranean food published in 1950 was the first work by an influential cookery writer. Her other works include French provincial cooking and Italian food. What was her name? Elizabeth David. Yes. Which country launched its first satellite, the East is Red, into Earth's orbit using a Long March 1 rocket in April 1970? China. Yep. What was the maiden name of the Australian tennis player Yvonne Corley, who won the Wimbledon women's singles title in 1971 and in 1980? Gulagong. Yep. The song Old Man River, made famous by Paul Robeson, comes from a musical that opened on Broadway in December 1927. What's it called? Showboat. Yes. Which 17th century French mathematician and physicist gives his name to a triangular arrangement of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two numbers immediately above it? Descartes? No, Pascal. In cricket, which country hosted the ICC 2020 World Cup in 2014? Bangladesh. Correct. What name is applied to the late 19th century group of Scottish writers who described a romantic image of small town life in Scotland and of whom J.M. Barry was a leading member? Pass. William Gibson's 1984 novel Neuromancer is a key text in a subgenre of science fiction characterized by countercultural heroes and dehumanized high tech settings. What is the subgenre called? A pass. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Cy <laughs> cyberpunk is what is it's it? called. And you had three other passes. The uh, name applied uh, to the late 19th century group of Scottish writers was the Cailliard School. Two ton Tony Galento said of Joe Lewis, I never heard of a bum. And CPU stands for Central Processing Unit. You've scored, Gareth, a total of 24 points. And finally, Ewan again, please. Now, the score has been creeping up, Ewan, so mm. it is now 25 that you've got to get to beat. 
the reigning 24. Let's see if you can do it. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge starting now. Which American pop star, famous for her outlandish outfit, sang about her poker face in 2009? Lady Gaga. Yes, the Scottish scientist who discovered penicillin was the joint winner of the 1945 Nobel Prize for Medicine. What was his name? Alexander Fleming. Yes, the word ritidectomy from the Greek for wrinkle cutting is the medical term specially used for a beauty treatment designed to give a more youthful appearance. What is it? Facelift. Yeah. Which television presenter was awarded the Freedom of the City of Bristol in December 2013, he is closely associated with the BBC's Natural History Unit. David Attenborough? Yes. Whose speech attacking Dennis Healy's 1978 budget did Healy describe as rather like being savaged by a dead sheep? Geoffrey Howe. Yes. Which song was a 1958 hit for Peggy Lee and also a top 10 UK hit for Madonna in 93? Pass. Which war broke out as a result of the Habsburg monarch Charles II dying childless in November 1700? Pass. In French cuisine, what wild animal is known as a macassin when young and as sanglier when mature? Pass. Which city's race course stands on the site of the gallows where Dick Turpin and many others were executed? Your. Yes. The Conaro Chapel in Santa Maria della Vittoria in Rome is notable for Benini's sculpture of a Spanish female saint. Who is she? Pass. Which fruit is called pomplemousse in French? Uh, pomegranate. Great food. What is the title of the story by Dodie Smith that has Cruella de Vil as the villain? It was made into an animated film in 61 and a live action film in 96. 101 Dalmatians. Yes, in the folklore of the Orkneys and Shetlands, a selkie is a creature that may seem human on land but takes the form of another animal in the sea. Which animal? Seal. Yeah. Which novelist created the fictional aristocratic detective Albert Campion? Margaret, Margaret Allingham. Yes, Marjorie Margaret. Allingham. According to the Book of Daniel, who was thrown into a fiery furnace with Shadrach and Meshach by Nebuchadnezzar after refusing to worship a golden image. Abednego. Yep. Which Yorkist queen was a widow with two sons when she married Edward IV in 1464? Elizabeth. Yes, Elizabeth Woodville. Which endangered British bird that lives in reed beds is noted for the deep booming call of the male in spring? Bitten. Yes, a German portraitist who was employed at the court of Henry VIII from the mid-1530s until his death in 1543 is known for his paintings of Anne of Cleves, Sir Thomas More and Henry himself. Who was he? Hans. Sorry? Franz Hals. Uh, Hans Holbein, the younger. In November 2013, Bill de Blasio became the first Democrat for 20 years to be elected mayor of which American city? New York. New York City is correct. You had four passes. St. Teresa of Avila was sculpted by Benini. The uh, wild animal known as a macassin and a sanglier, when it gets bigger, is a wild boar. The War of the Spanish Succession broke out because Charles II died childless. And that song, the Peggy Lee and Madonna song, Fever. Oh. So, four passes, Ewan, 27 points. <laughs> It was a good close contest. Let's have a look at all the scores. In fourth place with 18 points, Sarah Mead. Third place, 22 points, Frank Wood. Second place, 24 points, Gareth Williams. In first place, 27 points, Ewan Thomas. <laughs> Which means... That Ewan is tonight's winner, and he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. Now, if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter, at mastermindquiz, and do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.